I am Monica Dillon, and my um, my role here at Revel 11 is a host and advisor. I love to support Joni Parsons, who's on the line, our co-founder, and 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 curating all things creative and crazy. And this morning is is no exception. Um, you know, this topic of of how we dress and what we wear and how it's a reflection of us is so interesting. Um, and Joni and I also have lots of conversations about, you know, how we can curate things from our closet or from the thrift stores to make them look new because we are both grounded in sustainable choices. And Megan has a lot of tips to share with us. Let me just first of all tell you, um, I am proud to call Megan my sister. And um, she is a fashion icon who has been styling herself and others for decades. She works for Vogue, she pursues her dream, and she empowers and uplifts women um, of all shapes and sizes. So even though Megan is probably a size two or less, <laughs> <laughs> she makes she makes you feel amazing at any age and any size. And that's one of the things that I really love about her. So Megan, we're here to talk about the joy of dressing for the season. Tell me why this is such a passionate topic for you. Well, I want to say first that my whole life I've had to go after my sister Monica, and now you know the pressure. <laughs> she's so beautiful. She's so professional. She's so well spoken. It's like, oh, and then she wonders why I'm nervous. But um, the joy of holiday dressing. Uh, Monica and I were talking this through, and we were talking about the holidays and. You know, the holidays are about going out and buying like food that you love and preparing it for those loved ones, buying presents that you love and giving it to those loved ones. And you're probably going to wrap those packages in paper you like. And so the question I ask women is, how are you wrapping yourself and how are you taking care of yourself? Because we are our most precious gift. And I know that I um, have struggled with like loving that gift and taking care of that gift that is ourselves. But I can say that when I am, love my outfit and I feel good, it always somehow brightens my day and it, it brings me joy. And that's what I want the joy of holiday dressing for us to put on things that we love, to put on things that make us smile and um, to have that joy this, this holiday. And like Monica said, I'm, we're going to show secondhand, we're going to show sustainability. I don't think that doing that requires you to shop outside of your budget. And I certainly don't think that everything that I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you your 10 must have, you have to go out and buy. These are the things that bring me joy and the things that bring you joy could be completely different. And I think it's kind of like when you go to um, an art gallery, you might not buy every piece of art on those walls and bring them into your own home, but hopefully it inspires you. And that's what I want to do today is inspire you. So Monica, should I start with our first look Thanksgiving? Yes, I and I love that analogy about and I, when you go to an art gallery. So yes. Megan, show us what you okay, got. Okay, let's start. The thing about the holidays, and it's not just Thanksgiving, it's all holidays this season, um, is there's not really a color palette. You don't have to go with necessarily the browns and the oranges for Thanksgiving or the reds, the greens and the golds for Christmas, you know? You can play with color. And I think the playing with color makes it a lot of fun and maybe a bit more challenging. But I am going with a plaid. I think plaids are so in, they're so fun and they're so versatile. And I'm gonna show you with this plaid different ways that you can wear it. And I actually got this skirt from, it's a thrifted skirt and it's Joan Rivers, Monica, what do we think of that? Love Joan Rivers. She's one of my all time favorite comedians. But do you remember when she had a line way back? This was from hers. What do we think? I love it. I love, love, love it. How great. And you found that thrifting. I did. And the thing about the holidays is you can find the best pieces thrifting because holiday wear is a lot of wear that people wear once. They, they spend good money. It's good quality. They only wear once and you can find it secondhand. And we all know like those special pieces that we spent a lot of money on, they're beautiful, but we only wore it once. I think someone on this call might know something about an Oscar dress, but <laughs> maybe I'm crazy. But 
Take it over, Monica. I'm gonna put something on with this. Like I'm gonna show you different okay. ways to wear it. Okay, and this. I really, I really love the red tights. Show me those one more time before you go. Well, or are you coming back with them? <laughs> I'm coming back. The red tights are going to be with every single outfit. So I'm glad you mentioned them. Oh, good. I'm gonna I put the wait. red tights through everything. That's gonna be the synchronicity. You know, Megan. I really love that tip that you have about going to the thrift store right now, because there are a lot of holiday outfits being showcased that are in really great condition. Okay. What do you have for oh, us that's there? That's super cute. Um, it's just a pinstriped blazer. It's just a fun pinstripe blazer that, you know, just adds something to the outfit. And we're, are we feeling very pilgrim, very Thanksgiving here? I think so. I look think at the so details too. of this. Yeah, a little ruffle. I know, and how it cinches right here on the waist. This is this is so great. This is just just an idea. Okay, so Megan, tell us something about that. When you're wearing a, a blazer like that, that has a cut through the waist and then a ruffle at the bottom, what does that do for you? Well, this just pull, I think this just this blazer just pulls you in and, and kind of gives you shape. Now, you, funny that you should mention that because I'm going to show you something else as, okay. as we talk about that that pinch we really Monica, haven't done I, we have not done a dry run audience so anything no, that's this coming is, out is just all natural yes here. everyone i'd love to hear from you in the chat monica look you can take this same thing and we can go with a big blazer like oh. that's the thing you can you know the big blazer hits here so it kind of hits the skirt differently and i love um with skirts like this of putting on something that hits right here it's always it I even thought to myself with this like a big uh, uh, cable knit cream sweater like anything that hits here on skirts are really nice so when you do the blazer you don't have to do like the short cute sweet one I love that one but you can also do the the big oversized I think it's so great That's and cute. I don't know if Monica recognizes this blazer my I question do. is does she see I am, I'm giving props to Monica oh, she's God. She gave this to me. I love it. And I think this is just a completely different way, two different blazers to wear the same skirt. And you know what but I if like? You... You've got pinstripe and plaid. Now I'm like old yes. school, and so I'm always afraid to mix and match like that. Tell me why that's okay. Because it's the joy. We're having fun. You know, like like the red tights. Like do something fun, do something daring. Bring you bring that out of your closet. Like, what do you have? Is it those fun shoes that you just always love to wear? Try them on with something that you don't necessarily think would work because you might surprise yourself. Put it put it with something that, that you don't see, you know? And when we play and when we put things on and mix and match, you're gonna find things that don't work. And that's okay. That's the fun of dressing and playing and trying things on and seeing what does and seeing what doesn't. But and, um, and, I love to so what I match. like is that you have a couple blazers in your in your repertoire, right? And so you pull in and out a few different blazers to totally change the look of what was your core, which was the skirt and blouse. Yeah, and it also shows you that when you buy something like this, when you buy a holiday piece, you, you could wear this anywhere. Like you put this on to go to like put this on to go to work, put this on to go. Like this is a way of when you invest money in a holiday piece to make it more than just one way of wearing it. And that I think is important. But Monica, this isn't it. I have other ways to wear this skirt. Do you wanna see okay, it? Okay, yes, I wanna see what's Let's next, see. Meg. Oh, I'm, this, this, I'm sorry, this definitely feels like I'm unwrapping presents. Oh, good. Um, okay, keep your questions coming in the chat. This is so fun. One of the things I like to do, speaking of red, is use shoes to uh, spice up my wardrobe choices. So a lot of times I'll just be wearing a, a blue top like I have on today and I'll put on a pair of red shoes with jeans to spice it up. And these are these are a great sustainable brand called Italiu. And I really, really, really love red. So I love that Megan chose red tights. Um, scarves and are my just, other go-to. And um, then, oh, go ahead, May, or Monica. Scarves are something that can just really add some great texture to a very basic outfit. And so I always have a multitude of scarves. What about you, Joni? You have a blazer. Well, I have a blazer. I got this from Meg in New York. It's a sustainable brand. It's just a short cropped, if you can see how it yes. is. And I just threw this on over a cute black top this morning and I could just, you know, take this off and then 
just be all natural and just kind of, you know, it's just a nice uh, pleated up here. And then I put on some fancy earrings and I just felt so good this morning. <laughs> little sparkle goes a long ways. A little sparkle I does go a long way. Hi, Kat. Kat said she loves a cropped blazer. Um, this is so fun. Um, everyone wants Megan to come play in their and closet. It's so true. And Megan. that's why I love what you Go ahead. That's Megan. what I love what Joni just said is like that she just felt so good putting on like I the did. sparkle and the glitter. So good like morning. sometimes when we just do our hair, like this, it's the little thing. And this outfit, I'm going to give a shout out to Isabel because she said this was her favorite one. And Isabel is my 22 year old daughter. So we know when she says this is her favorite, it's good. But I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a suede jacket. See how it has these fun sleeves? Yeah, it's like the Sergeant and, Pepper look, right? Yeah, and it, it kind of, you know, this, it's kind of like a, a little punk with your holiday skirt to make it, you know, just another way of- Where is that it, jacket from? Yeah, I was just gonna ask that Where too. Does, it's thrifted. Every, <laughs> at, <laughs> everything, Monica is. A few things are I from Monica, that. a few things are from friends. Um, I should have given a shout out to the cream top because just recently that was gifted to me from my friend Liz. Um, it's kind of a lease alone, but you know, that's the thing is we, we share. I steal from I steal clothes from Isabel. She steals clothes from me. <laughs> that's so great. I love, love the jacket. I love that it's suede. So tell me about when you mix textures in style, what that does for you. Um, I think with textures, you should find textures again that you like. I think we all have those pieces that maybe when you hate the texture of something, you just will never wear it. You can't wear it. When you pick up a sweater and you love that that feeling and um, the 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 way the way that it looks you know the, the different if it's like super thick or what you know thinner and you just you love that texture you're going to want to put it on you know you always feel like putting on that big comfy sweater when it's cold and raining outside so you you definitely have to like love the textures of what you're wearing and yeah i love wearing like a suede with like i don't know if this is satin but something like that i i, I just think it's fun mix and match um but yeah Okay, Meg, we have a question and you might want to answer it now or with your ne next outfit on, you can decide. Can you, great question from Chloe. Can you talk more about getting out of your comfort zone and having fun with your style, expanding what you, you know, try out? Right. Well, okay. That's a great question. And thank you, Chloe. And thank you for joining me. Um, we always want to try to get outside of our comfort zone if we can, and not just in dressing, but in life, ladies. If we're not growing if we're in our comfort zone. So we do want to get out. But there's a very big difference between your comfort zone and your panic zone. We don't do well in our panic zone. So do not go there. Um, but go outside, outside of your comfort zone. I think it's something that's a little unsafe. It's a little daring. It's a little challenge. You know, like Monica said, the red shoes, the red tights, it could be something small. I don't know what outside your comfort zone is and not your panic zone. But definitely, yeah, push the limits, push the limits to fun. You know, I think when we, I think they call that what, fashion forward um, because you're pushing fashion forward. Maybe something that you don't normally see, um, something you haven't seen someone elsewhere, but it's also your individuality. Like, what do you love? Like, maybe you love leg warmers and you want to put on a fun pair with a, a, a skirt or dress. I, I don't know what that is for each individual, but. I do think that it is always fun to dress, to dress outside your comfort zone, try things, you know, and things work and things don't. And that's with everyone. But, you know, we're artists and we're expressing ourselves through clothes. So have fun with it. That's wonderful. OK, let's see the next outfit. Flip or right? flop. Oh, right, okay. just... While she's going back there, I want to um, share something that Kat shared in the chat. And Kat, so funny because I was just going to tell that same story is I used to have clothing swap parties with my friends too. So what we would do is bring, you know, we'd all say, okay, bring 10 to 20 pieces. It could be a scarf. It could be a pair of earrings. It could be a pair of jeans. We'd lay them all out on a bed and we would shop each other's clothes. And it's such a great way. So, you know, if I brought 10 pieces, I'd take 10 pieces. It's a great way to trade. Oh, man. What you got there? 
So this is just fun. Remember how I said I wanted to make this like everyday wear, like you can take your holiday piece and use it. Here you go. You know, one thing that has come back in a big way in 2022, and I think it's been surprising is sport wear we're seeing like a big we thought adidas were gone they came back for a minute we kind of thought no but you know they're back um all kinds of fun sports wear is back balenciaga is doing adidas uh jerseys are back basketball football and so this is a way to make your holiday wear street wear of course you can change your shoes ladies you can put on some boots or sneakers or whatever you want sneakers are even always great with dresses but it's a fun way to you know take it to the street i am a huge huge streetwear fan. So I'm going to show you a lot of streetwear in here. Oh, love that. Love that it. is so cool. Yeah. Amazing. It's just a fun people way. Are, people are loving that style. Yeah. And you could also like do this with an, like I said, an Adidas jacket or any kind of sport streetwear, but let me know. Do we have questions or Monica? Are we ready for our next look? Um, I think we have um, questions. Um, Meredith said, even I can participate in that trend. Ha ha Meredith. Yeah. That's a good that's a good one. I think Joni was going to say something. I, I was going to say, gonna say with oh. the, sorry, with this black top, look at the how much this changes with just this beautiful bright green scarf. And it just adds a little flair to something really basic. So. Yeah. That's, I, that's why we don't need, like, you don't have to have a, with so many things. You can take a thing and there's so many ways to wear it. And that's what's fun. Okay, keep and going, Meg. Gonna, and show well, us the next outfit. I want to give a Chloe's challenge. Meredith needs to go outside. Oh, here we go, Meredith. You got off the hook. Oh, and I think I think Megan this, like, has a challenge for Meredith. What do you have now, Joni? Oh, red. Well, just just a scarf, you know, just a throw over. Just again, simple, different look. But you can dress it up or dress it down with you know high heels or flats. So. I All sorts agree. of things in the closet. I just pulled these from, I didn't even plan on this. I'm like, oh, let me just pull a couple of things. So I, I, I totally agree. And I'm big with scarves too. So I brought a couple of scarves because I have more scarves than probably anything in my, in my wardrobe. Another thing that I like to do is when I travel somewhere, which I haven't done for a while, I like to buy either a scarf or a piece of jewelry from wherever I'm traveling. And that way I have a memory tied to it. Like I have a memory tied to Alaska from this scarf and I have a memory tied to Italy from this necklace. And so to me, some of the special pieces, I, I don't buy that often, but when I do, it reminds me and brings me back mm -hmm. to that place of joy, right? Because it's a yes. memory tied to Alaska or tried to, tied to Italy. So and I was going to say, this is Italy and this is Spain. <laughs> so, I, I know. I all, all the days when we could travel. Yeah. Um, and yes, fashion souvenirs, Livy, and um, oh, look at that! Okay. I and, love and, it. And, ooh, la la, Maggie, what you have for us? Love, love, love. Guess what? Guess where this sweater's from? Losing you guys' audio. Can you hear me? We're, we're, we're losing audio. I think Natalia. Uh, I think we're uh, back. I lost audio. Let me. Can okay. you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. We're good. We're good. Okay, Maybe. hold on. I can't hear anything. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. Oh, probably because it has to disconnect. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? A little, but I'll I'll keep going. <laughs> Speaking of Italy, Monica, the sweater, it's an Italian. Oh, that's so lovely. Come a little closer with the sweater and go slow. Let us see the back. It is really gorgeous. gorgeous. Wow. With the dip in the back too. What type of material is that? You know, I really don't know. I can tell you the story of the sweater is Caitlin. She's from Guam. She came here, bought this sweater. Obviously it's pretty warm and Guam and she left it and I stole it and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's awesome. It's beautiful. The belt was from an estate sale by my house. Um, this woman, 
this woman lived through the 1970s punk scene in Berlin. So I've got, I got a ton of, and the skirt was just recently found from a thrift store. And look, the red tights. The red tights and a different skirt. Wow. Let's see the fabric of that skirt up close. It looks a little shimmery. What is that? This is like a taffeta. Oh, how interesting. I love that. Yeah. And you can see I'm pulling out a lot of long skirts. And again, if this may or may not be your style, but this, this is just, they're fun and easy. I love it's that. Fabulous. Now, tell us about belts, how, how you like to use belts or think about belts. Well, what's cool with belts right now is you can go with a really thick belt or a really, really thin belt. Like that's the thing with fashion, like anything goes, but I do like this, you know, it, it gives, it, it, when you add a belt, like try adding some belts to things that you wouldn't normally, because I do think it adds a dimension and so there's layering is great. And that adds dimensions to your clothes, but so does like adding a belt, adding a belt. So that look would be so of... different without that belt. <laughs> I mean, it would be, it just is so put together and just so beautiful. Everybody loves it. And Megan, I think one of the things you're you're teaching us is that there is no right or wrong. There is no one way. It's about how you feel and what you want to experiment with. Is that right? That is. And that's why I don't want to do your 10 must haves or this is this is how to dress over the holiday, you know? That's why I wanted to title the segment The Joy of Holiday Dressing because it's whatever brings you joy and whatever brings you love. And what I love about this is I'm having a baby shower tomorrow and I'm probably gonna wear this to a baby shower because look at the colors in here, the pink, the blue, perfect for a baby shower, perfect for a gender reveal. You know, you can do this skirt all kinds of ways. And again, you could wear this skirt for Christmas and look, it has no Christmas colors in it, but it definitely, it definitely works. Mm -hmm. That's great. I love that look. Thank you. It's fabulous. All right, let me let me show you a something else with this look. Okay. While Megan while Megan is um, changing, I'll tell you a, a fun fact about us. We are sisters, born on the exact same day, but not the same age. And nobody gets to guess who's older. Um, <laughs> so um, we 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 share birthday. We're Leos, so that's that's fun and. Um, you know, it's always, it's always interesting to try and um, dress with Megan. And whenever she comes over, she finds something in my closet that's just kind of tucked away and shows me a new way to use it. And, and so that's what I love about this. It's really playful. It's experimenting. It's, you know, picking an odd piece. Does anybody have an odd piece in their closet that they would love to be able to wear and they're not sure how to wear it? If so, tell us a little bit about it in the chat and we'll see um, how, what advice Megan might have for you. Um, I also love hearing about what's on trend. So things like belts, things about sportswear. When Megan comes back, I wanna ask her what else she is seeing on trend this season. And one more fun fact about Megan while we're waiting. Oh, here she comes. I'll save it for the next one. What do you have, Megs? I decided to pull out some gloves. And, you know, I was talking about fun accessories for the holidays. I think gloves are really big right now. They're really fun. And they're a way to take things that are already existing in your wardrobe and just add a glove and make it so much fun. So fun. <laughs> and believe it or not, ladies, I got these gloves and gentlemen, Justin, <laughs> I got these gloves from um, the Halloween store. Wow. How fun is that? Yeah, there's just. And what about the sweater you paired with it? That's really fun. Um, this I bought in New York City in the 1990s. It's just a short sleeve mohair sweater. And yeah, and again, with a skirt like this, I think you could take a black sweater even that came here, you know, that hit differently. These are just, these are options, but I always think. And what's nice about wearing a sweater and an outfit like this for the holidays is you're so comfortable, right? Like you can cook, you can move around, you can pick up the kids, you can 
you know, we all, we do want to think about that too. Like if you're bending over, if you're moving and, and what, what, what you're going to be comfortable in. I mean, oh, we might I have to adjust right. the after we eat, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Megs, I have a question in the chat for you, if you don't mind. I asked people to put in the chat, maybe a piece that they have that they love, but they're not sure how to wear it. And so somebody, I wonder who, wrote Shamrock Green Cape in Wool from Ireland, circa 1970. Oh my gosh, is my mom on this chat? No, I think that's Miss Claire. Oh, Claire. Um, okay, she said a shamrock green cape from Ireland, 1970. Yes. I think if I had that cape, I would definitely wear it with the first look I had, you know, the green and blue plaid. I think a plaid with that cape would just be beautiful. Um, and I think I would say with a cape like that, any kind of pattern right now, even florals are big. So if you have something like that, but just really to make the cape a standout piece, um, I would put that with it. The other thing, and I know Claire isn't really much of a jeans person, but for me, I would also maybe do jeans with it. But those would be my three ways. I'd do a plaid, I'd do a pattern, I'd do a jean. But capes are so amazing. They're so great. My daughter is such a huge fan of capes. And Claire, if you ever have a chance to come and see her closet, she has so many of them. I should have actually grabbed some and brought them up um, because they're just, they're, they're so fabulous. And they really do like definitely add to an outfit. And they're definitely perfect to throw on over your holiday dresses as, you're, as you arrive or are going out. And so it really doesn't even matter what color dress or outfit you have on and what color the cape is. You can just put that cape on over it to accessorize. And it's actually even more fabulous if the cape has color because it, it just helps that outfit pop and, and with the great reveal. Yeah, and to keep you warm and to arrive instead of a coat. It's so much fun, love capes. Okay, great. Um, are you ready to see the next one? Yes, we are. All right. I would love to see who has the next fashion challenge for Megan. Um, feel free to put a question that you might have about what to wear. Where to find Megan? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Where to find Megan? We we need to we. Well, we're going to, we're going to try and get Megan to come up to um, Seattle to do an in-person fashion shopping spree with us. How many people in the Seattle area would come if we, if we hosted her up there? Um, I also think that um, she could do some boutique shopping for those of you in LA. She's really fun to go shopping with. Um, okay, Megs, what do you have? A little fun. We're back to the sports. Who doesn't love a little Letterman sweater? It's a collegiate look. And look, it doesn't have any red in the skirt, but I still tied it in because of the tights. And I don't know who Barbara is, but thank you, Barbara, for your <laughs> class of 64 sweater because we love it. Oh, that is really, again, that's a great way to take something that it, you paired with, you know, fashion for the holidays and make it every day. Um, it is. And I, I, I'm doing this move because Isabel always makes fun of me and tells me this is my signature move. So I told her I do it a lot for her today. And, um, Isabel is asking about how would you wear a vintage Gretna sweater? Oh, Gretna in the house. I think she might be asking me that. She, I think she has some of my old dance stuff. You know, I wear it the same. I would put it on with just like the, the green and that, that plaid skirt. Like I, I love cardigans. Like cardigans are always great because, you know, we never know, are we going to be hot? Are we going to be cold? So a cardigan is amazing. And it's a great. I, I love wearing it. And I, I, I wish I had a Gretna sweater like this. I'd show you. I don't know what happened to mine. Well, you had, you're definitely inspiring me to go to the thrift store. So are you, you know, not to, not to mess with your plan here, but what if, what if you're not a skirt person? 
What would you be um, on the bottom with that? Oh, what if you're not? I was going to pull out some some pants, and I, I love the fact that you're not a skirt person. I'm not always a skirt person either. I think what's so great for the holidays is throw on your cashmere. You know, I love a matching cashmere pant with a sweater, you know, something comfy, something cozy. I think that's also fun over the holidays. Comfy, cozy, um, relaxing. Um, I love pants. I love a good pants. You can pull out your plaid pants. A plaid pant with this would look so good. Um, and again, that's why I also wanted to preface this. I do have a lot of skirts in this segment, and I'm sorry if you're not a long skirt person. You don't have to wear long skirts. These are I'm, these are not must haves. These are just fun ideas. But yeah, I, I love pants. I'm sometimes That's I feel great. like I go for um, months without ever wearing a skirt. So sometimes it's also nice to put one on. Well, and the nice thing about the long skirts you're showcasing is they almost feel like a, a long pant, right? So they, they can be very versatile. You have a question in the chat from Nedalyn, and I don't know if you want to put on an outfit first or not. We're about halfway through our time this morning, but Nedalyn's question is around selecting accessories. Do you want to come back to that after you have your next outfit on? Um, yeah, let me throw my next one on and let's talk about accessories. And thank you, Nedalyn. Okay, I'm going to show you guys some fun accessories that I actually found in um, a box that was um, from from my mother in law. And I found this really crazy hat that I wouldn't normally wear, but Megan has inspired me. And this really amazing boa. And I thought, well, this is something that could totally <laughs> transform my outfit anytime. And so it felt like thrift shopping when I found this this box of, of clothing from my mother-in-law that I did not expect. So yes, here I am. Well, ready you're getting for, a lot of, I love that so much. And ready, I would agree that winter. that's just fabulous. <laughs> okay. Well, here's Meg. I have more accessories coming up, but I just wanted to show these shoes as a fun accessory. And I think Monica talked about that earlier. What are a pair of shoes that bring you joy that you just love? And what I do love about right now is you can wear your tights with sandals. They look so good. And these are just such a fun pair of shoes. I think it's a great way to accessorize an outfit. This is, an, this is a monochromatic, monochromatic outfit. That's what they call it because it's all within the same shade. It's two different colors, pink, but all within the same shade. It's so comfy. Um, you know, you, you're, you can eat as much as you want. You can run around, you can grab the kids. The heels are really comfortable. They have a thick chunk on there. But getting to Netherlands' question, I do want to say one of some fun trending ways to accessorize over the holidays are gloves, like I mentioned. Um, bows are a big one. Bows are very in right now, very fun. Um, you know, a bow, I have a headband, it's a bow, it's always fun. Actually, I should grab that out. But just little things like that that you can put on and change an outfit, you know. Um, I know Isabel, we went to, when we went to Justin's wedding, she wore a big bow, like a bow tie, like really long that was fabulous with the suit. So just, and I'm going to bring out I have a question. Soon, so you're going to see that. Megan, um, are hats in style right now? Yes. Yes, I love hats. Monica, where's your fur hat? Um, oh, I just put it on, Meg, while you were changing. Oh, good. I We're such a fan of hats in this house. I If you go to my TikTok, and please do, we have a segment where we're, it's 90 degrees, and Isabel, Val, and I all have, like are wearing fur hats, basically. Um, but hats are so in, so fun, and such a fun way to top and accessorize an outfit. And Megan, I should go grab this getting... hat I got. I'm going to go grab a hat. I'll be okay, back. good. Well, <laughs> Megan, you're getting a lot of comments in the chat about how much people love this outfit. I think there's a couple things, right? The monochromatic look is really, um, has been hot for a while and continues to be. Also, you've got, I love how you so boldly pair two different textures because I don't think that was always traditional where you've got the silk and the cashmere and then you've got, I mean, the shoes, which like you said, you can wear those with tights. You don't, they're not just for bare legs and, and toes, correct? 
Right. And it's, I think it's pink, you know, pink is a fun color to work with this season and pink. Look at this could be such a holiday vibe, especially with the red tights without being those holiday colors. And that's how fun it is to dress right now. You know, you don't have to go with the traditional. You're more than welcome to but pull out your pink. I think pink that's great. great for and you're right. The holidays, New Year's. So you guys, I have to tell you, so, um, I got this hat in Philadelphia many, many years ago, and I was going to this event, you know, with 500 people, and I had a black suit on, and I put on this hat. I got more attention from men than I've ever gotten in my entire life. Everybody was just coming up like, who are you? And it was the funniest scenario. And they're like, don't take off your hat. That's just such a beautiful hat. I've worn it once, and this was about 20 years ago. And I've always wondered, like, what can I pair with this hat? You and need so, to definitely wear that hat again. That is a piece, and that is a piece to have for a lifetime. And when we love hats, I think we think of the royals and the wedding and they, how they always pull out these hats and how fun they are and how they really do really add, they, they elevate an outfit. And I think that's how you got so much attention. I got I so think much my attention. Question would not be where you would wear that hat. I think my question would be where wouldn't you wear that hat? Yeah. Like put it on with everything. Okay, Megan, it. I'm that going to. So fun. <laughs> okay, well, I'm Megan's putting on her outfit. next outfit. I'm I'm going to the hat box that was also in the uh, in the items that I found unexpectedly right before this call. And there's a couple really fun ones. Like this is really fun. And then this is another really fun fur one. But again, I could have found all of this at a thrift store because it's where mm -hmm. everything else ended up. For some reason, this box did not. And I do think that hats are really Those are treasures. <laughs> fun and festive and treasures. I think one of the things we should do, Joni, is ask the attendees today to send photos to Revel 11 of whatever fashion inspired looks they created after today. And we can create a collage of that. What do you think? That would be fabulous. Um, so everybody I, can send those to, um, to me actually. That would be great. We'll put that in oh, the chat. Okay. Oh, Megan, look at you. Oh, Phenomenal. Look at Let's see that close up Natalia. So this is a perfect example for new years and I got to go shout out again to my daughter. She found this amazing, beautiful piece at the thrift store. And wow. it is kind of an orangey color, but it goes perfectly over the pink. Again, I just, I love it with the tights. I, I wear it with these shoes. Um, this is just underneath it. I just put a beige slip. That's all this is, is just a sheer beige slip. And what I love about things like this, um, these are comfortable. You can eat all that you want. You can run around. You're you're perfectly comfortable. And you can take a piece like this and you can wear it with pants perfectly. I love this with pants because with pants, you also really get to see more of the legs through here. Um, and there's so many versatile ways to wear pieces like this. Megan, that is absolutely stunning. And I love that you put the slip over the skirt that she was wearing before. Oh my gosh, what a fabulous outfit. I love it. Stunning. Good. I'm glad you guys like it. And it's fun. This is, Megan, this is so fun. And this is a fun idea to wear for New Year's or the holidays or any of those holiday parties you're invited to. And what I love, Megan, is that I'm looking at your face and I can see joy. And, and so it when you're putting on an outfit that you feel great in, you're radiating. Again, remind our audience about how and why it is important to take some time to invest in yourself and your wardrobe. Yeah, I think you know, what's interesting is we've made fashion with women shallow. Now, mm -hmm. forgive me if I'm getting too deep, but it's a misogynistic society. And when men like sports, we don't call it shallow. When they love their cars, we don't call it shallow. But when women love clothes and shoes, it's shallow. And why, why is that? Um, and it's not, the things that we love are not shallow and I don't, and it could be as diverse as I don't care if you love comic books or you love whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a female or male thing, but whatever that is that you love that brings you joy, 
don't let other people take that from you. And I, I think it's okay to celebrate ourselves. I think it's okay to put on pieces that make us smile. I think it's okay to put on like some sparkle, some glitter, a little bit of fanciness on yourself and go out and enjoy the day. You know, it, it's not, um, it's not vanity. It's not, you know, we're, we're so into ourselves. It's, it's, it's a celebration. And uh, yeah, that's what I think about dressing. It, it really is. It's a way to express yourself. Fashion is moving art. Fashion is moving art. You're right. And it's so important to remember that fashion is a form of art. Um, okay. What do you have for us next? Well, Monica, I just like to say that Megan has definitely inspired me when talking about joy and dressing, because I've never really thought about it that way. And I have been known to wear a lot of black <laughs> and I'm going to go out and we should go vintage shopping and um, thrift shopping and go see what we can find. I am really I inspired. Well, I love that she said black because black. that actually leads us into our next piece. Oh, oh that's, that's great. great. The next piece. Okay. Um, I need another fashion challenge for Megan. I love Megan solving fashion challenges. So I'm I'm really curious if there's something you've been avoid avoiding to wear that you're wondering if it's still in, if there's something you're needing help with, um, if you're um, stuck with a single color and you're wanting to expand what, the, what that might look like. Black, black, so, black. Tell us more. The other thing I would say is I do think on colors, and this is a beautiful scarf that Megan actually gifted me. I mean, when you have a fashionista sister, you're so lucky like me, because then you're gifted with really fabulous things. And I love this because back to what Megan shared, it's it. she knows I wear a lot of black or blue. And so what this does is brings in color. I would have probably never thought of something orange for myself. Um, it also ties in some of my favorite blues and greens. It's super warm and cozy. And again, it just creates a different look for whatever it is that I'm wearing. So thank you. And Megan. it's so interesting, Monica, how that it just changes your face, those colors, bringing in that vibrancy. And yeah, you're just so alive with those colors on. And I feel like my sister is giving me a hug when I wear it. And I really miss her. So oh, that's I wonderful. Love that. That's I one of my that favorites. Too. Uh, okay, it, Maggie, what do you have? Um, you guys, this is just a black mini and look at what I get close. Look at like the material. This is kind of like a chain. It's really, and it's just fun. And again, you can, the red tights underneath it, just add fun the sandals, you know, you can pull those out and wear well, them with sure sandals. They kind of, you know, imagine if I put this dress on with a closed toe shoe, which actually let me grab to show you. But I definitely, Meg, when you come back, I want to see those sandals close up. I think they're so interesting. See how the sandal kind of gives you a little more height than the closed toe? Yeah. And it opens you open up. It's it. definitely it's more fun. Course. These are so cute. These have a bow on them. And I do love them. But these are just two different ways to wear the fun dress. So let's, see those, let's see those sandals up close. Can you show it up close in, your, in the camera, the sandal? Monica is really challenging me here. I know. No, 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 no. Just take it I don't off. I know if you can see them close. Oh, yes. These, these are my Gucci slides. Oh, I love them. I love them. <laughs> from I'm the so 90s, cool. from way back. And these are so cute. These are the little bow. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to hear it after the call, everybody. I know I'm going to get in trouble with Megan for all the questions I'm asking. You're doing a great job. Both of you are doing a just a fabulous job. Okay, Megan, while well, you're I'm changing, show you a special way to take this and slightly make it different. Okay, wait, Megan, Megan, while you're going back there, here is a question for you to ponder from Terry. I inherited a wide leopard print belt from my sister that I don't know what it should accessorize. So think about that while you're changing. Okay. And oh, Terry, I love leopard print. So I can't wait to hear what Megan has. One of my favorite pairs of shoes are just a simple loafer, but they're a leopard print and they really um, create a, a very different um, look when I put them on with just a pair of black pants and a black sweater. Natalia, are you there? Joni, are you there? Yeah. Okay. There you go. 
There you are. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and I also welcome if someone has fashion tips of their own, because I'm sure Megan is not the only fashionista on this call, um, for you to put them in the chat. So I don't know about you, but I'm really having a lot of fun this morning. This is it's a great so way to fun. start my Saturday. <laughs> Oh, oh, guys, look at what happens when you just put a long slip under this. Again, it's so comfortable. It's such a comfortable way to go out and look so chic. I love that. And Megan, you know what's so nice about that is for somebody who's maybe not feeling, oh, there you go. Oh my gosh, there's that. For New Year's, you guys, I think it's so fun to add a top hat. You could add the hat even with your a men's white shirt and undone bow tie. I love like a big men's white shirt, the hat and just some heels. You know, there's so many different ways to accessorize and make a hat fun. And I New Year's is, just, I think, like the royal wedding, the perfect time to break out a hat, to break out your gloves, to break out those fun accessories. I mean, I'm going to grab my gloves. Love it. Okay, that would be great. And I, again, I think what's nice about the slip that she added, if somebody's like me and they're not like feeling like they can pull off a mini to create the slip underneath to first of all, for coverage, I think would make me a lot more comfortable and willing to try. So I, I love that. And what we're seeing over and over is just a few simple pieces with a few layers tucked in that just make it look different. So you well, and it's amazing what you can do with a slip. I mean, I would never have thought of using a slip and yet I have several here in my repertoire <laughs> that I can do much more with. Oh, I love that, Megan. I love the addition of the gloves. Yeah. And you know, this is, this is a lot of fun and there's so like, this is not just, I know this is a long skirt, but I would love this hat with, like I said, that white open button up shirt, even like a pair of jeans and fun heels for New Year's would be so great. You know, jeans and gloves, like for New Year's, go all out, have so much fun. I love that. So, um, Hayne is saying, I have a black mini dress that is tight and I feel uncomfortable wearing it. What would you recommend if somebody's feeling, you know, tight? that their dress might be a tight but still well, have some... I think I showed how you took this black mini right and you added this underneath yeah. I also say with black I I hear you with mini skirts and I think it's also to do is I've gotten older I'm not like oh, I just don't want to wear but tights are such a big thing and when you put tights under them and right now tights in fun colors not only red but any color so See if tights, put on a thick pair of tights with it. Um, I would really have to see the dress, but I also right now is a big thing is dresses and pants. You know, you can put a pair of pants under a dress. That's so great. Can, Megan, I, I made you mess up your camera. I'm losing your face. So maybe tip it oh. up a little bit. Sorry about that. that. And then that was my, um, that's perfect. That's perfect. So you can do a lot, you know, there, there are options and I, I wouldn't do a dress this short if I didn't do tights, okay. you know, but with tights, I, I could pull it off for certain events, but this is an idea to add, you know, to put a layer underneath it. And that's what I do a lot with, uh, that's what I do a lot with, uh, short main dresses because I, I hear you. Oh, look at um, this. There's the cape I want to pull for Claire. Oh, I love that cape. Wow. The idea, oh, Isabel also found this one, but this is a perfect thing to wear over your holiday to arrive to the party. I love capes for, for gowns and dressing. They're so much fun. That's fabulous. And I think one of you had the question, there was a question about a thick leopard belt, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I would love a thick leopard belt with like, uh, a simple white men's button down. And some of the reasons I say that is when you take an item like a leopard belt, that's so big, that's so bold that you don't want to look costuming, costumey, that's a word in, and you don't want to look maybe too punk or too, you know, cra crazy. You take a classic item and put it with it 
and it balances it out. So that's what I would say to do with something like that. Put something classic in it so you don't travel, so you don't get uncomfortable and travel too far down a road of like, you know, if you put a black mini, a black mini dress with that, with a giant leopard belt, you're kind of going to like hit the 80s or hit something too hard. But if you put it with a classic item, I think you're really going to love the look. That's really great. Also, we had a question in the chat about skinny jeans. What's your take? Are they in or out? I don't believe in in or out. If you love skinny jeans, if you feel great in skinny jeans, put on those skinny jeans. And right now what's so big, maybe probably, Isabel will say yes for the holidays for every day is boots. And the cool thing about skinny jeans is it is a great way to showcase your hot boots. You know, those even snow boots are in right now, big boots, tall boots, over the knee boots. Skinny jeans are a great way to showcase that. So if you love them, put them on. Um, I will say, uh, watch yourself with skinny jeans and, and flats. It, it, it is harder to pull off a look for a lot of people because it doesn't flatter yourself or flatter your body. So just watch yourself in that and make sure that you love yourself in it, you know, that you feel good in it. And if you're not, I think one of the reasons is it is hard sometimes to wear sneakers and skinny jeans and, and what that does to like the figure because we're built a little bigger here and a little narrower at the bottom and it really accentuates that. Okay, Megan, that's a good tip. We have time for one more outfit, maybe two. So I'm not sure if you have I, anything more. Well, okay. Give me one second. Okay, take, take your time. <laughs> While so she funny. goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a tip from Megan that she gave me. I'm going to give you two tips, actually. Natalia, thanks. Um, one is she told me to watch myself when I put on jackets or shoes, to, to put on a jacket or put on my shoes in a full length mirror. and what she pointed out that I wasn't paying attention to wait one second, Meg, let me finish this is that, is that I was, I was going up on my tippy toes and she said, see that jacket or those shoes are making you feel shorter or stouter. And so you naturally go on your tippy toes to try and give yourself height. So when you're buying jackets and you do that, don't buy that length of jacket. That was a great, great tip. tip for me. Okay, Meg. Look what I pulled out because Monica said she needed another look. Um, you know, this is a hat. This is actually a hood and if Val's on the call. Um, a shout out to Val because she found this piece. So it's really just from a jacket. But we were, I've worn it out. I love it. It is, Joni, like you said, one of those pieces that people commented on or come to and it makes any outfit. When I wore it, I just wore it with a long, I think a long sleeve black, black shirt, um, and a, a skirt that night, but it, it, it just adds something and it's so fun and it's just a hood. So it's just such a fun idea to like, it's just like the yeah. hood from a it's back of a parka. <laughs> I love it. I love it's it. It's just, you look so stylish and it's just such yeah. a fun and you know look. what? I hate to say this. I, I, I should put some photos of Val in this she this hood somehow really does like it it, it it's fun and it, it actually makes people randomly look good I don't know how but it's just it's just one of those fun yeah you look fabulous but I it go back to I think part of the reason Megan looks so fabulous in all of these outfits everyone is because she is having fun she's mm -hmm. selecting things that align with her joy and her creativity and her expression and so back to what she said at the beginning of the call She's not telling us how to dress. She's inviting us to explore and understand when we feel joy because we all have those pieces we put on and we feel like really tight or stuffy or boring. And it's like, what do we want to do to create joy in the choices we make in our own wardrobe attires? Meg, would you add to that? Yes, I love that. Like feel joy feel comfortable, feel, and I love what Chloe asked about going outside your comfort zone. Take, take some daring choices, you know, and you may flop and that's okay. Because if we never took a risk, we, we would never know. And we, we want to take risks in life and we want to take risks in fashion and um, have fun. 
And if you're, and I'll, I'll give this piece of advice to everyone on the call too. If you're really, really in a crisis and you've tried on everything and nothing was good and you're hitting panic mode, I would say, grab that black. Grab that monochromatic, grab that matching because that will always pull you through. Because if, if you're if you're going crazy, and trust me, every fashion, every person, even a fashionista has had a fashion crisis. I said I should open up a hotline. Uh, yes, a you should. Hotline <laughs> and help people when they're in the middle of it. <laughs> And I love what you said earlier too, is it's one thing to get out of your comfort zone. It's another thing to go to your panic zone. And so sometimes it's just the little steps in between. I asked in the chat, what color tights everyone plans to buy. I, I think you're inspiring everyone. I mean, those red tights have served every single outfit you've worn today, no matter what the color, right? That's what I, yeah, that's what I did. I wanted to have one piece pull completely through. And that also shows us how we can take something and, and wear it so many different ways. And, it, and, and they have, and they're so fun. I love fun types. Red it is. Well, I know you have so much fashion wisdom to impart on everyone and you could go on for hours. Um, are there any, you know, last thoughts or, or invitations, considerations? Well, does anyone in the chat have any questions about um, New Year's or Christmas or any holiday that they're really wondering or are struggling with? Go ahead and shout those out to me and I'll try to answer those. But um, I'll, I'll say the things I said. I think hats. Um, hats, are, I think gloves, gloves are big. Think of gloves and not just with, um, like I said, you can put them with a pair of jeans and a, and a short button up. You can put them with anything. You know, they're so, the, your dresses, they're so much fun. All of those little accessories are the things I would say for you to add. And I, I Monica, it's Marie Kwanda. Is that her name? The, the uh -huh. woman that I know when she talks about mm -hmm. her home, she says, Pick up an item and see how that makes you feel. So find those items within your own closet that you really love. Like, is it the shoes? Is it the necklace? Is it the earrings? Those pieces that bring you joy. And you can literally create an outfit around something you really love. I love that Joni picked up this, the hat. I love that hat so bad. Just create an outfit around that hat this holiday. I'm going you to. Have to wear that. It's amazing. <laughs> So I'm going to wear it for the first time in 20 years this year. Well, good. Bring it yes, out because it's, it's those will. things. And I think it's those things that we play with and, and that bring us joy. We want to pull out of our closet. We want to add some sparkle and some fun and um, really take care of ourselves and love ourselves and bring some sunshine into the rooms you enter. <laughs> That's wonderful. And um, someone commented on also the value and the fun of using something oversized. Do you have any tips to keep in mind when, when selecting oversized items? Yes. Um, I love oversized. And I think I did show some of that today with like the, the New York Jersey, right? I'm small. And sometimes when you're small, like wearing oversized, you kind of lose yourself in it. But um, that's not the case right now in fashion. You can go you can go big and big, um, like you can do a big shirt right now and big pants. And again, it's what you feel comfortable in, but what uh, Isabel is so great at that, like putting on a big shirt and big, and she, and she definitely pulls it off. And it's also so comfortable and it's masculine and it's feminine. And I think Rihanna is another person to look with that. She does a lot of like big shirts with big pants. And I, I love that. And there's little ways to elevate that. Um, I think as an older woman, I think making sure your shirts are crisp, ironed, clean, you can put on a little kitten heel with it. You know, there's definitely ways to do that big and um, elevate it to our age range and elevate it with the heel, with the crispness, with a piece of jewelry to kind of refine it in a way that's not as teenager. But I love big oversized, like the big oversized pink sweater I had on, so comfy. And I, someone wrote in the chat, thank you, Libby, about it's a good reminder of how fun thrifting can be. And it's a, a great way to, again, be conscious of fashion choices. Sometimes when you go into a thrift store, it's so huge, it can feel overwhelming. Do you have any tips for navigating thrift stores? Like, where do you like to go first? Yes, I do. I think when you go to a thrift store, if you're open 
overwhelmed and you don't know how to navigate, I think it's great. If you go for the holiday, say, I'm going to go look for a holiday piece or I need a skirt. So start there, start in the skirts and, and look through and kind of know what you're looking for. So you don't get overwhelmed by everything. Now you might find something you weren't looking for that's absolutely fabulous and that's great, but go to a department. I mean, I love the skirts. Um, as you can see, I always find things in, in the lingerie. I think there's always those special pieces. I love thrift stores because you find things that you're not gonna see on everyone else. Even very high-end items. A lot of times we're just seeing those on too many people and we want something that's very special. Uh, I mean, obviously I love this hat Tony has. The hat is so special. Like these pieces are so special. So, but it, start with a section. So if you're like, I need, a coat, just go to, you know, don't overwhelm yourself with the entire store. If, if that's how you feel thrifting, start with a section. Yes. And again, um, go through your closet gift, gift items. You're not going to use to make space for new ones. Um, I actually went through my son's closet and found some blazers and sweatshirts of his to incorporate with my outfit. So sometimes that mix and match is great. I mean, the, the ideas are endless. Our time went so fast. Wait, I, let me say one more thing about your, can I say one more thing about your closet? Mm -hmm. When you're dressing, and I think this will help a lot of people out when you're dressing, what is that thing you're always missing? Is it like, oh, if I just had a pair of black pants, oh, if I just had a pair of black boots, oh, if I just had a pair of black flats, that is the piece you're missing. And that is the piece that you need to invest in. Because when you buy that piece, you're going to be able to tie so many things together. And I think we all have that piece. Like if only I had with a lot of our items and that's, if there's a piece to purchase, I would say that's it. Oh, that's a great, that's a great reminder. So if when you're going to pull together an outfit, you feel like you're missing something, kind of keep track of what that is. Cause you're probably going to hear a consistent theme. Like I know when you and I were in my closet, you were saying you're missing kind of a tight black top. You have all these big loose black tops, but you don't have a tight one that you need sometimes to tie a piece together. And so being able to identify that piece is important. Um, I want to take a, I don't think we can do a poll. I don't know how, but I, I, I would love to hear from the chat. If you guys would like to have Megan back in the spring for a spring wardrobe um, session, um, because I think this has just been so amazing. I appreciate you sharing. Wait, so we want generously. to say, please follow me on Instagram, DM me with questions. Um, if you, if you, if you TikTok, uh, you know, stitch me. I would love to reply back. You know, I want to be interactive with everything. I, everyone, I think social media is a great way to do that. So get on, please DM me, please shout out me. And um, I would be more than happy to help all of you in any fashion crisis. And we're going to, we're going to send an email with also the recording, Megan's handles and um, the email, Joni's email, so that you can, you can email and share a look that Megan inspired you to create. We'd love to have that collection. It would be really inspiring for us because at Rebel 11, what we love to do more than anything is um, to empower diverse groups of women to do really amazing things. And sometimes that just starts with feeling your best. So Megan, thank you for sharing your talents so generously with us today. Mwah, you inspired all of us. We love you, love you, love you. You, you are a fashion icon. Natalia, do you want to pull up what's next? Meg, you want to wave while Natalia pulls up what's next? And Megan, thank you so much. That was so inspiring. I want to go shopping. <laughs> In my closet oh, yeah, at the thrift the store. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. Hold on just a second. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right. Next TikTok I star, I swear. I love that, Chloe. I think so too. I know. Um, well, this there's some so fun. Here we yeah. go. Joni, do you want to talk about what's next for Rev 11, please? Sure. I would love for you to join us. If you're here in Seattle, I'm doing a couple of wreath making workshops there. I'm just, I love flowers and I love making wreaths and being creative. And I thought how much fun it would be to do that together. So please join me. There's um, a couple here in Seattle and then one up in Roslyn as well. The photo that you saw um, the snowy um, setting was from our place up in Roslyn, which is just about an hour and a half out of Seattle. And then we're partnering with Elevate, another women's group, to talk about how to bring the heart back into the holidays. And we'll have Capriel Pence, who is a James Beard award-winning chef. 
sharing a dessert that is going to um, absolutely entice your um, guests to eat more and more and more, and um, a couple of other women to talk about bringing the meaning back. I think this is such a special holiday that we'll be all back together for the most part, and how do you bring that heart back as well? And there's a lot more to come, and keep watching rebel11.com, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you, Monica. You did a splendid job, and Megan, I can't thank you enough. I'm so inspired. It was so fun. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Have Mary. a great day. Thanks, Joni. Have Bye, a good Meredith. day, everyone. <laughs> Bye.